Hey, Don here. Okay, before I get started working on my electronic thing and doing my live stream, I'm going to make a little quick video of um, these glasses. I forgot to put my paper here. I wanted to put a piece of some, something that was white, you know, down for the endoscope camera to look at. I think it'll be better. Then, uh, oh, and I need to move this SM58 too. It's, it's, uh, did I mess anything up? No, I accidentally punched the inner key on the keyboard, moving it around. Okay, so, what if I'm trying to get this stuff in the right, some kind of lineup here. <clears throat> Um, <clears throat> so what I got is, uh, that's cam four, here's cam one. Now, what I've got here is uh, a set of glasses from Wally World, uh, magnifying glasses, 1.5, plus 1.5, and, uh, I'm going to, I'm not, I'm just going to clean one pair to, try and wear them and straighten them up and all that. These wireframe glasses always have to be worked on a little bit. But uh, let's get on the, I'm not holding that worth of crap. Uh, get on the endoscope. It's going to be a little too close, but at least it'll be still. Okay, so uh, yeah, here's the, which way did it go? The other way. You never can get that endoscope to. There you go. That's what I got. And uh, never can get it to uh, be lined up. Oh, I see that. That there's. Okay. So, uh, kind of setting the, the light to where it's best for my eyes. Let's see. I mean, I want as much light on this subject as possible, but... So this pair, first one I came got out of the deal, they don't have the... Uh, well, I'll show you in a second. The, uh, well, the temples are bent more on these. Yeah, that one's shoved all the way back. A lot of people... I mean, you do have to be careful. You'll break them off, but... A lot of people will just, you know, send them back or throw them away or whatever. Uh, these wireframe glasses, you can adjust them. And uh, they came in a sack. You know, Walmart's got to where they'll bring stuff from the store, even though you don't order it that way, you know. You, well, now it's all, they've changed everything if you've shopped there lately. But anyway, I, it's hard to figure out what the heck they're going to do with anything. But for a long time now, here where I live anyway, they've been... Uh, if it's something at the store, they may ship it, or they uh, that they usually have in the store, they may ship it, or they may um, bring it and set it on your porch in the sack. And that's what they did with these, and it was in with a bunch of other, you know, medicine and stuff. Luckily, it wasn't real heavy, or these things would have been beat to death. But uh, see, there's a the little sticker. These other two pairs have the sticker on them. It's actually helping me with the endoscope to see how straight these are. It's, it's hard to see. For me, that's why I need these glasses. These are actually all right. This stylus is exactly like the ones I had before. But that little deal right there, you can bend this part here whichever way you need to get it, you know, the right width for your head. Now these are always turned into where they dig into my head. I always have to twist them, I'll twist on them. But I'm gonna haven't even put them on yet, so we'll figure that out in a minute. These two here look to be about the same, I think. Some of these deals will move a lot, and some of them don't move hardly at all. That one won't move much, or as much as that one, which is not a real big deal. I just, if you keep on looking at them in the right angles and stuff, you may find, yeah, well, that's one thing I've, I've always learned to do, is look at them that way, and look how much of the, you can see of that uh, t you know, that thing that's holding the bridges, nose bridge, pads, <laughs> plastic thingies. Uh, and that'll tell you whether they're on, you know, lined up or not. 
and, and sometimes like they're uh, that one looks like it's mounted way low. It's probably just bent. It sure is. It doesn't look right. I'm looking up at the screen. Normally I hold them and look at them, you know. But uh, yeah, that one's a little. Usually uh, that distance there, where you can just barely see it, that's good. But these are not the same. Main thing is you kind of want them the same. <laughs> that that'll be more comfortable. These magnifying glasses I've got on there, they're full magnifiers or safety glasses, but they're also, uh, I can't get them to quit squeezing my head. And it, it seems to hurt my eyes to look through them for very long too. Now this pair, I think this pair is actually a different color. It is. This pair has got silver frame and the other ones, I think, are black frames. Uh huh. But this not having the stickers on it. Now, I mean, some, you know, it may just be that some come that way. And some, I think somebody stuck this on that. Well, they did a good job of it because it was all in the twisty and everything. But this was the first pair that came off there, the, you know, the kind of way they were put in there. Makes me think somebody in the store put this pair on. <coughs> they could have done that. It was just a regular old twisty, like a bread twisty. <coughs> But, uh, and I don't know if they actually get stuff off the stock shelves. You would think they would get it out of the back when, you know, when they're delivering it anyway, but I don't know how they do it. I haven't been inside a Walmart store in years since they started delivering. But let's see, are these? No, I don't think they are black. It's just the way the light hits it to me. Yeah, they're not black. I can see it in the screen better than I can in the, but the colors are off. You see how the paper looks a little bit yellow? I don't know why, but this, uh, this endoscope is looking a little yellow. I probably could adjust a little bit in OBS Studio, but uh, it's not my goal today. But I just wanted to figure out which pair was the ones I wanted to clean and put on. I think it's this one. Yeah, they're, well, every one of them's got a little something off, but yeah, I think these are the less bent up. Of course, I'm going to have to adjust them for darn sure the, uh, and that's the, is the trickiest adjustment to make. Let me see, maybe if I hold them up, I don't know if that'll work. Yeah, you can probably see that. Um, see, they're turned way, that one's turned way, way in, and then the other one. Probably can't see it. Let me try using camera one to see it. They look kind of even there. Well, the one, oh, I see, they're kind of, it's like looking at a mirror. So the one that's pointed in the most, oh no, that is the one on the right. Okay. Yeah, it's really pointed in. What about this way? They're, they're overall, I think this is the straightest pair. So I know that's a terrible video, but I'm actually not not with it that much anyway. So, so I'm only going to get one pair ready to wear. But uh, I'm going to put these others in in this thing. Hopefully, I don't know how I'm going to do this. It's going to be quite a bit to get some on the endoscope. Okay, so this thing here that I've been keeping my magnifying glasses in, it's got room. And I've got some these things that you get here and there for cleaning in there so it's soft in the bottom. Okay, and then see my magnifying glasses, uh, my magnifying safety glasses will, uh, I'm not cleaning it with this, I'm just, it was thrown in there, not folded up, and it was kind of taking up a lot of room. Actually, I don't think I'm going to use it at all. They, they, 
they're good when they're brand new, but then pretty soon they start to, that's what I'll do, I'll lay it on top um, to keep them from getting all tangled up maybe. Okay, now, oh. drop the darn thing in the floor. Dump the whole thing. God dang it, got everything dirty too. Okay. I've been spending hours. I haven't made a video in quite a while, and I've been and I've had to spend hours getting it, everything all set up again. But I was really hoping to. Uh, it all started when my uh, um, my. Um, oh, let me just do this. I can't even think to talk while I'm doing stuff. So let's get this straightened up and put back in there. I can't believe I did that. I mean, I do. I should. It's just so aggravating because my, my hands just go nuts and let go of stuff all the time. It is aggravating. So this one was the one I had folded up to put on top of it all. I had it all set up and then this was the first one I had and it was pretty good but and you can wash them and keep using them but uh, I noticed that uh, you know you get they get grease and stuff on them and uh, that ends up just smearing all over the glasses pretty quickly really. Uh, you don't get too many wipes out of them so I just use uh, Windex and a paper towel and just don't scrub them too hard because a paper towel will scratch scratch them. I don't think used to these would come and they were glass but I think they're most of them are on plastic now so they will scratch way easier than I'm trying to figure out what's the best way to put that in there. If you put them in there where they hook onto each other then uh, then you'll end up dragging them out, you know, when you try to get them out. But I don't, I like to, I kind of like to put them down so that, so that uh, they don't get scratched by something you're putting in there, something else you're putting in there. Okay, we put them to bed. Now let's see. Put that out of the way over there. Boy, that white paper just makes that blinding. I don't know if I'm going to be able to work like that or not. So... Uh, yeah, I'm going to stay on this camera. I'm going to turn that light out for now. Ooh, that's bright. If I want to turn that back on, I can to, you know, do something. But right now, I don't need it on. But that light, I will say, i, I got to get it right for it to help me and not hurt me, but to uh, blind me. I was real sensitive to the light, but I need light, lots of light now to see. So, uh, so, and I figured out when I started using Windex every day to clean the glasses, that, um, that the, I guess there's ammonia, yeah, I think there's ammonia in it. It will make, just one time, and a few hours later, my, my fingers are cracked and sore, and if I do it a couple of times in, in you know, if I don't wear this glove, I, got, I don't really need the other one as long as I'm careful and don't get anything on that, those fingers. If I wear this one glove, the one I'm doing the scrubbing with, then, uh, then it won't, you know, eat me up. And cra my fingers will crack and get to where they bleed, you know. So, uh, let's see what we can do here. See there, dropped them again. I'm, I drop stuff so much, I have to, I don't even notice it, but when you drop a whole thing in the floor, you know, that landed in my lap, so that was okay. It's really aggravating because when I was young, I was really coordinated with tools and sure, you know, sure-handed. I didn't drop things all the I mean, I'm sure I did, but it wasn't like this. I have, uh, 
I have gotten maybe a little better at catching things that I draw because of all this. For the year, it's been quite, you know, it's gotten real bad in the last four, three to five years, but it was been, I've been doing it. It started really bothering me a lot, like for the last 20 years at least, if not longer. So it's just getting really old. <laughs> Okay, so now I got to get this. Where is it? Yeah, it's on the. Uh, oh, I got it out of the picture. I start forgetting what to take these gloves off for now because I can't really work good with them on. Get that paper towel. I'm still going to use it one more time to clean them. I should have peeled that off already. I forgot. Didn't peel the uh, tags off yet. But I think the best thing to do is use my thumbnail and fingernail if I can because then I won't scratch the lens getting it off. Yeah, there we go. At least they don't have real sticky stuff on them. Yeah, my head's kind of hurting and eyes are hurting. It doesn't take long at all for these safety glasses to make hurt my head and my eyes. It's not, but yeah, I thought it was just that they squeezed my head, you know, that bothered me so much, but it's more than that. It's, they bother my eyes. See, those are pretty clean um, already. So, uh, I just thought I would make this video, not because I thought it was a good, important, or good video to make, I just thought, uh, Kind of get me in the video making mode, you know, make sure that everything's working with the cameras and the audio and everything. I already tested it and checked it, but it, a lot of times, you know, things will still go wrong. So when you really get to it, you start doing a live video and then, you know, things quit on you. One good thing about doing a live video is you can always, if you can remember, if I can remember, you can check back on your live stream button and just go to your, go to YouTube and make sure that every, the video, audio and video is coming through. Otherwise, you, you can't, well, I don't know if I've ever tried it while I'm recording. You know, you can turn on the audio, but then it makes a terrible echo. I don't like, so I don't like to do it, but I don't know if you can do it while you're recording without, uh, I'm trying to look at it on the endoscope, but I didn't switch to it, without, uh, yeah, that's pretty clean. I think there's a little lint on it. But usually what I do is uh, them they look better with the colors are better without the light. So the light bulb is causing that. I don't I think yeah, okay, yeah, because that's what color that is. That's the edge of the keyboard and this is the paper that's white. So it's that light bulb, it's yellow. Okay, well that's, seeing if I'd have went and adjusting on that, I'd have been doing it for nothing. Okay. Yeah, hopefully these will be more, and the other glasses I've been wearing, they're 125s, and I, I decided it's time to step up to 150s for everything, that's what these are. And I can see better with these on, but, uh, but like I said, they hurt. They're uncomfortable, but they're longer than this box. I'd forgotten about that. So uh, how am I gonna do it? Yeah, they don't wanna sit down in there. Oh, okay, there we go. Now I'll lay my blue rag over the whole thing because it's actually big enough. And then when I lay those other ones in on top, they won't... Uh, Hang. I've learned that about putting more than one pair of glasses in a, any kind of case. They always want to hang on each other. And now I probably won't be able to see to do this, but I just wanted to. I want to get them on first. Oh yeah, very uncomfortable. So uh, it's a nice little pair of clean vice grips. Uh, these are my in-house in vice grips, so they don't have grease on them. But. Uh, I'm not so sure about the bridge. They feel too close together to me. They may be all right. I'm just maybe not used to them being like that. I'm not so sure they're... Well, I've got these 
Let me move this thing. It's, I think it's already used up pretty well anyway. I'm just going to put it. Well, I'll put it right there for now. So, uh, I can't even hardly see the switch without some glasses on. Oh, I must have moved this thing. Uh, maybe a little more than I want to go. Okay, now. Yeah, these, um, not so sure. I think the light may be better. Let's see. Oh, takes it a while to adjust, doesn't it? Yeah, I can at least see the, if it's too close, it gets, freaks everything out. Too close to the paper. But they're not. I do have to have those glasses on to do this. I can't do it without them. I don't know why I thought I was going to take them off. I took them off to, you know, try those on, but I've got to be able to see what I'm doing. Okay, now. Okay, they're pretty loose. So they will. I think this one. Yeah, that one will go way up there, which is actually better for my nose, I believe. I don't know if it's. Yeah, they're different. Got to figure out which one is right and which one is wrong and adjust them. They really don't look like they're the in the same spot. Well, it looks okay in the picture, no? I wonder if I can, let's see. Yeah, let's go from the, uh, just, yeah, let's just do it that way. Ah, can't hit it. I don't think this will uh, fit in there like that. Yeah, it's too tight. Well, it doesn't, you know, this is not that. If there's so much off that I can see it, then. Okay, so we've got five hundred and, say, forty thousand, thirty-eight, five thirty-eight. On that side, isn't that what I said? Yep. Now, what we got here? I think there is. Yeah. See, there's about forty thousandths difference. That's what I was. Uh, so, even though I can't see good, I could see that. Okay. So that's weird. That's why they feel funny. Quality work, huh? <clears throat> um, but usually, like I said, you can bend them and get them to, uh, I don't know if you can see. There you go. You see that loop? That loop can be in all kinds of different formations. So if you figure out which one looks, a lot of times one of them is real bent out of shape, and that's what's causing it. Uh, figure out which one. And you can try to, you know, straighten it up. I, I'm, when they get bent pretty bad, I really never have been too successful at getting them just like each one, just like the other. I just get them where they feel better on my face, you know. But uh, so really, what I go by is well, where they are, but also yeah, that that plastic. It may be there's some leeway in that plastic too. It may be the other reason why it's dangling so much further than the other one. But it looks like, let me get these, let me try them on again. You know, this is actually helpful to have this, the cameras, let's see, I can't, there's a preview on the camera, but I can't, it's too little. And when I'm looking sideways, that doesn't work too good. It may not really, the thing, the one thing that's bothering me with them is they really are too tight. They don't. 
I don't. You wouldn't want them to. I wouldn't want them to go down very much, but I can see my peripheral vision. I can see the bottom of the glass is too good. So yeah, I'm gonna have to spread them out. And as far as getting them the same spot, I'm not so sure how I'm gonna do that. Oh, I'm trying to look at it on the camera and. Wrong camera. Endoscope. Okay, that pair, that one there looks like maybe it's in pretty good shape. Like it probably, I'm trying to remember how other glasses look, you know, that I've had before. <coughs> I can't, can't get in the right angle to see that one. Okay. Some reason right now I'm banged into the camera. Some reason I think that the one on my right <coughs> is better. <coughs> okay, there's a clue right there. Look at that. Yeah, so you can see the nub of the, uh, where it screws on, that's actually where it screw, I think it has a screw there, I think, uh, in the, through the front. But this one, you can see the thing that's holding it where you can't see the other one on the right. Let's turn them around this way and make sure I'm not just fooling myself. Getting them at some, getting them straight. Yeah, that one you can really see. That, that that's the one that was on the left, and this one, that right there is more where you want them. So this one here, maybe if I do it like that a little bit, it's pretty far. Turn it that way too. So yeah, that's about it. Maybe I didn't do I didn't do too much anyway. Got to be careful. You'll break that stuff right off. You don't give them a hard twist they're not you know strong but yeah this one could be too far back but I think it's right where it should be and this one's still a little too much let's see that yeah this one here well it goes right about still on the outside of the rim and that one will go way up inside, but that may be too much. You don't want your nose resting on that. That's what, you know, it's going to be real uncomfortable. So uh, let me put it on my head again. Yeah, I, I didn't even realize I, I got the sack and I was too busy doing all this other stuff and I didn't, uh, it already feels a little better. I didn't uh, even look in there and then I, th I kept having a feeling to look in that sack and and in my head, you know, my eyes and head were hurting from wearing those uh, other glasses because I've been wearing them while I was setting up the cameras. Okay. Of course, with them, you know, if they're crooked and all that stuff, it's always a battle to keep. You can't even tell if you're not looking at yourself, you know, if they're crooked. Let's try that one more time. I'm trying to go for the feel right now. I can tell I need to bend these out. They're tight, but I'll worry about that in a minute. Well, they sure do feel better on my, they're not so, these are, these are heavy besides the fact that these things squeeze and I've, I don't actually have a heat gun and it's, and it's probably good that I didn't put one to it. I'd probably destroy them. I've broken two other pairs of these, not these, but different brands trying to, you know, they, the one pair said you could adjust them and they wouldn't break. Well, they lied. And it was the wall. Yeah. I think it was the wall brand too. They were made cheaper than these, the, you know, Chinese brand here. And, uh. And I like my DeWalt tools, my, you know, drills and stuff, but their safety classes were crap. Okay, so uh, these are uh, Walmart brand. I've never seen them with a Walmart brand on them. They're starting to brand everything. Oh. But, uh, that's one thing about the camera, I guess. Uh, I forget to just look when I keep looking up there. Well, that's good, but as far, but like I said, my camera, I can't put it anywhere. I can't put it in front of me because that's where I got two monitors. You know, I can't do that. I have to put it off to the side. 
So, oh, I see. Yeah. I don't know if that shows up, but this one is pretty well straight up, and this one is aimed down. Yeah, that's one of those things that happens pretty often with these. I'm going to try and, there we go. You got to really look at every angle to figure out what it is they actually need. Now, these, I think that made it stick out even more. I don't know. It's all right. Yeah, it's a little more than the other one. And you can do that with your finger, too. You can just... Yeah, now they're more even. Yeah, let's see what they feel like now. It's not necessarily an easy thing to do. Yeah, I might be able to live with that. Yeah, that feels better. It might still be a little too... Well, and I'm always seeing my, my, my 4K monitor that I use now all the time on the computer and to watch videos and stuff. It's up there. And uh, so I'm looking. I don't want to, you know, I, I'm probably, I might get used to where this is because I can look all the way to the top. Now, if I look towards the top of the monitor, I can see the top rails. But, yeah, these probably, like the lenses here aren't as big, I don't think, as the, uh, oh, Oh, the lenses here aren't as big. They're the same size as the ones I've been wearing, I think, or at least they look like it. But they're not as big as these, and I've been wearing these for the last several hours, so I'm kind of used to them. They're the ugliest looking things I ever saw. And how a guy, a model guy, made them look cool? Well, I don't know, except for one thing. The trick was they have two colors. They have the clear and the black rims with clear, you know, clear lenses. And he was in the black ones. I never had one picture of these clear ones. I kind of noticed that, and that's because they look, they look like grandpa glasses. But I think that is better. Uh, I didn't want black all over the place, you know, blocking my peripheral vision. That would drove me crazy anyway, especially on the sides. See how thick those are, how wide that is? So I'm still glad I got these. Okay, now the other thing I got to do is... Uh, it's, everything's dark back there. Let's get back on the... I can't see the switch. Okay. Um, desk, no, not desktop. I'm really... I'm really dying to get on my night light. And, but I'm afraid I'm getting too tired and I'll mess it up. Well, we may, well, I'm going to get started on it, I think, as long as I get this going here. Yeah, it's too close. Well, I can do this. I've never had this. This is the first time I've ever tried this, uh, having this thing on here, like on this light that I can move all over the place. I usually was stuck. I was using a tripod for the endoscope, and I was stuck wherever, wherever it was. I'm going to put the edge of it. I think I'll shove that paper up a bit so I can kind of line them up. There we go. Yeah, except for now the lights up so high it's in my way. <laughs> but uh, I can kind of see just from my normal vision. This is the tricky one. If you start bending out on those too hard, but that's what's bothering me. Uh, these, wire, these wires are not, some of them are tough and you can end up, you can break the plastic before you bend these, especially if they're plastic, of course. But these are metal here. But yeah, that that was okay. It worked. It uh, went. Sometimes though, they're bent. They're, this one may be bent a little bit right in there, inside of the. You know, the metal goes up into there, and I think it's bent. This one looks pretty straight, either that or just haven't. But it looks like the bend really starts about. I mean, that'll fix it. It looks like it's inside of the plastic. I'll put them on before I decide. Put these tools over there before I grab them and use them up at the wrong time without thinking about what I'm doing. Okay, let's see now. That's better. I think they're probably still too tight. Oh, yeah, they're still... Uh, I don't know how you can really see it, but I can see it when I'm looking at it.
And when you twist, what I'm doing is twisting this part here, but it'll go, they'll twist back. So if you can get it by bending on the, this part, it'll stay. That feels better. You just don't, you don't want them to squeeze hard right behind your ears. I don't, I can't take it. It just, it gives me the worst headache. But these have a, they're spring, there's a, they're more springy, the, the, the ones with this, uh, put the glasses back on so I can see. Uh, they're more springy with this. Well, wait a minute. These aren't like my old ones. What do I do with them? My old ones have a, these, I thought these were going to end up being the same thing as my old ones, but. Oh, now that's a pair I haven't, you can see I haven't been wearing them much lately, unless they got bent when I dropped them just a while ago. Let's see. I can probably tell which pair they are by just looking through, looking at the lens is what I was thinking. Yeah, I think that's the pair I haven't been wearing. They got scratched somewhere, something that bothered me, and I, you know, quit wearing them. I sort of wearing this. Yeah, I think this is the pair. Oh, these are the new ones. Shh. All of these are the new ones. So, uh, yeah. I don't remember what. Oh, I put them in my glasses case. The other glasses case. This glasses case has, uh, okay, new ones are in the front. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, okay, they, they're not like these, and that I'm going to miss. I probably should have went, I think I got these at Amazon. I, I meant to go check and see if they were still at a decent price, but I was ordering at Walmart, and I thought, well, I just want to go ahead and get them, but I, sh I should have. Yes, these are, are really cool. Look at that. That's a spring, and if they get... Uh, and really what you have to do to adjust these is mostly right here. I mean, you can twist this. I did have to do that. But right here is where you got to bend these. Uh, but they don't need as much bending. And if you bang your face into something, they will give and not, not just get all bent out of shape. You know, I mean, they will bend and mess up. But if this pair is, I believe, the ones I've been wearing all the time, you're not, you're not showing up. There's a big old scratch that I can see any time I... You can see with the magnifying glass, I mean, yeah, there it is. It's not showing up with the camera, it's just looking right through them. But anyway, there's a scratch right there, and it's just, um, I did, it's not right in front of my eye, but yeah, both of these pairs are like that. I had forgotten about that. Well, they look just like them, so to me, I guess they're a little bit different in the shape. But uh, there's not a lot. Uh, yeah, they're not the same kind. They're a little different. <clears throat> but anyway, they should be all right. Uh, it's the only set I've ever had. I got those in like a set of three or four I've ever had with that spring in them. And I was, I was surprised. I thought I broke them, you know, when it first happened. And I was like, oh, they're made that way. But, uh, okay, so... Uh, Kind of getting harder and harder to tell what what good I'm doing. And we're still, yeah, okay. I don't really like to put the pliers right there, but okay, yeah, okay. Let's see. I think just like I was talking about on that other pair. Uh, this part right here is where I need to. That's where you can break them off of that. You got to really be careful doing that. I have broken broken them before. I think I've even broken brand new pairs before trying to set set them up <laughs> for me. Okay, so yep, yeah, that's a little little better on the right side. Now the left side's too tight. So I was going to show them, but let's get them comfortable first. It is helpful. I mean, I usually don't, haven't had a piece, you know, this piece of square straight line to look look through and all that. And that's helpful. Oops. Okay. 
it is helpful to do it on the screen like this. This one just still keeps looking like it's going that way too much, but it doesn't feel like it is doing it near, near as much as it was. So I don't want to overdo it. Sometimes you fool yourself. Uh, like I'm looking actually at them instead of up there. The way the, I can't, like I said, you can't get the endoscope oriented right. It, it, you can, but it'll, it won't stay. As soon as you move, like if I move this thing, it'll reorient in a different direction. So, I mean, they look perfectly straight just looking at them from there. As far as I can see in the video, they do too. This one looks like it's turned in a little more though. Yeah, okay. I'm looking down at, okay, that might have been what it was. Okay. All right, let's try that on. That might have actually made a difference. I have learned that over adjusting will mess them up quickly too. They still feel a little tight though. I think they're just going to start hurting in no time. And that's now I'm getting a little nervous because uh, what it seems to me is what I need to do is bend them here and that's also the best way to break them. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, it'll break off of there pretty easy. That's a the weakest point in them really. Well, I guess it's because it's where you get the most leverage, but I wouldn't say it's necessarily the weakest point, but but if you keep bending, well that other pair, you had to bend them there because of this, this spring, you know, the ones I just showed you. You can still bend these, you know, bend it this part right here. I think that's what I'll do because they don't look like they're turned in or anything, you know, this, this, this part right here. Uh, Oh, they are. Okay, Wumpus, there we go. That, that made that kick back in a little bit. <laughs> when you fix the Caddy Wumpus, then the... <sighs> oh, no, it's too far that way. I mean, once you start wearing them, that they're liable to get in. The, you know, you you don't realize it unless it gets really bad, or I don't. Okay, now that one's just right, but this one's too tight. So let's try that. Oh, let's get these. Get on the other. I did. I'm using the. I did, I was doing it up, thinking that I, I can see myself on that camera, so I forget that I'm not on it. Let's see. Yeah, they, as soon as you bend on them a little bit, then they get a little more. You bend on one side and it turns it one way. You bend on the other side, it turns the other one. You know, they just keep. That might be where I can go ahead and try and wear them. I think that one's still a little. That feels better. I'm going to leave them right there and uh, try them. Hopefully I'll be able to see. Yeah, I can see better in these than the ones I've been wearing. They're the 150s like these. It used to be too much for me, and it used to make me feel kind of weird if I walked with them on, but now... Well, now these didn't usually bother me when I'd wear these outside working, and that's what I started noticing. I thought, well, why does it bother me inside, you know? So, uh... I think I'll turn it like that. Then cover it with that. I got them in there, and then I want to cover it with this. It's really a cleaner cloth, but I'm going to use it as a pad to keep. If I want to put another pair in there, I just realized this pair is not going to be kept in there. It's going to be kept on the desk. <laughs> so I probably don't even need to do. I don't need to do that. I, I was just fine. But what I do want to do. I'll put it, yeah, I fold it in half, put it on these so that when I put that in there, it won't get tangled in the other ones and yank them out when I go to pick them up. Can't get out of this, can't get out of this bright light here. Okay, I'm put that back down where, it, where I'm more where I'm going to want it to work. 
It's a lot of difference in the light, I tell you. Okay, yeah, that shouldn't do. Now you leave that like that so I can just open it with one hand. And get them in and out of there when I'm sitting here. I used to only use them outside, but lately I've been using them in here at the computer because I realized I wasn't seeing good anymore, you know, good enough for the 125s. So uh, everything looks so dark now. My eyes are just really slowly to. Uh, uh, <clears throat> so, yeah, I keep thinking I need to clean them again, but yeah, I do. <sighs> They've already got all kinds of lint on them. I don't know if they're smeared or not. I can't really see to tell. Without some glasses on, <laughs> I'd put them away. Um, yeah, this one's already getting dirty. So, let's see. Where's my... Okay, I need my glove. Another paper towel. If I don't wear... I, I've got to remember that. <laughs> My uh, th fingers and thumbs, I wash my hands a whole lot, which turned out to be a good thing nowadays. <clears throat> I'm not the crazy one. All you, all you people with dirty hands and the ones that's carrying the germs everywhere. <clears throat> okay. Um. So. Get this all cleaned up. And, oh yeah, that's how I usually do it. I turn this on, but it's, my eyes are still not are, are still looking for that extra light I had on, so I still can't see. Yeah, see that that other monitor down there. I can aim it at that, and I can see the lint to blow it off. I think that's still dirty. Yeah, there's something on there. I hope it's not. <laughs> some gooey sticky stuff that's hard to get off yeah I'm glad I got these glasses though that's good <sighs> these are narrower I think because usually I can not do that <sighs> with my other ones I got you know I don't know, I, just the way I always do it, and it doesn't poke me in the face as, mu as much as often <laughs> as they are doing it right now. They all, I mean, I may be goofy, but they actually look narrower than the, other, than the ones I've been wearing every day. Yeah, I may have to go look at, uh, I thought I adjusted those. Have I got... No, I only had I only worked on one pair. What are they doing? It's like I had them fitting my nose, and now they're like instead of fitting my nose, they're poking me in the nose. I don't know what's going on? Well, they're definitely hanging funky. Oh, in the scope, in the scope. I can't see. Okay, now. Hey, you can't get that to sit that far out there. I can turn it some more. No, that's the wrong way. I just need to move the glasses, of course. Uh, actually, I'll leave that light off this time. It's more... Everything's fuzzier though, isn't it? This camera is just that that end is this endoscope, and yeah, they they both need a lot of light. I'm learning that now. 
Okay, but what is going on is these are poking me instead of my nose going in between them. You know what's weird? After all that work, this one here is not not uh, showing through the lens like the lens like the other one was at all. How did I get that out of? Maybe after I adjusted on it, I just forgot to check that they were. Yeah, I guess I just hadn't. Uh, I went to. I remember bending on it. But what it was, what I did, uh, ended up. Getting it out of whack in another way. You fix one way and then you mess up another sometimes. So that. Yeah, they look like they're looking through. Oh, and of course the light would mess that up. Okay. Yeah, I think they're. Yeah, I believe they are. Let's put them on now and see. Okay. Yeah, that's a lot better. Now they fit, seem to be crooked on my face. Feel crooked. I can't, I can't. I can't see myself in there good enough to tell. I don't think I got it quite far enough though. Or did I? They look okay. They've been good, you know. Uh, they've been good, you know, like that. They look to be the same to me. Ouch, pinched the crap out of myself. Okay, that uh, that hinge got me. Yeah, when the hinges aren't right on the glasses, uh, these, this style, you know, where the hinge is out here, you can get pinched real easy. Because I'm used to the hinge being uh, right there on the glasses. You know, that's what they're doing. They're making smaller, narrower glasses, and then they're kicking the hinge out so that they'll still fit a, a American face, I guess. Uh, evidently, yeah, I never realized that, you know, I thought it was more of a clique. Well, I mean, I knew, I've met, a, you know, a few people from different, I mean, there's, there's people, what am I trying to say? Um, since everything's come from China for the last 25 years, I realized that they're used to making for smaller people than, than us Americans. Because I'm not a real big, I'm 5'11", uh, and I weigh 2'10", 2'15". Of course, I'm not skinny. But, uh, I mean, I am in my arms and my legs, but not in the middle. But anyway, uh, but our heads are, uh, well, I've bought some of these glasses before where I had to make them, you know, doing like that to <laughs> get them on my head. And that's not, that's uncomfortable. So anyway, um, what was I trying to look at? I was trying to figure out if they were Yeah, they look to be at the same height, close enough anyway. This this here. And I know it's getting a little more blurry because I got the camera up too high, but I'm trying can't get you can't see it. If you get the right distance for good focus with these things, then you can't see in the uh can't see enough of the glasses. That's the thing about endoscopes. They only focus at really focus at one, you know, distance. Okay. 
So I'm trying to decide if I want to leave them and go with it. I want to because I want to. I really want to. I'm all set up. I spent this whole at day, really, the whole afternoon and evening getting set up for this other video. And I'm, now I'm spending forever doing this. But I really did need to change. Uh, these things were just hurting. Uh, I don't want these to start hurting, too. So I'm still not. They feel way light, looser. They're, they're still just a little, but I'm scared to get them so loose that they'll fall off every time I do that. I'm going to leave them like they are, and if they bother me, then I'll, I'll adjust them again, I think. Let's see. It's pretty hard to tell until you wear them for a little while. I have a feeling they're still a little tighter than I really want them. They are clear, though. They're good. So, uh, still got lint on them. After all that cleaning, then I went and messed with them again, trying to fix them. Let's see if I can get the lint off of them again. I think I'm going to turn this light off. Okay. Yeah, I had that all set up to work on a little circuit board. My uh, cleaning stuff is starting to dry up. I don't know if it'll work. If it dries up too much, then all it'll do is smear and make it worse. Now, let's see. Yeah, that, with that bright light turned off, I think it's eating better. I might be able to see with this to... The ones I wear every day have got so much uh, so much lint from the paper towels from cleaning them uh, built up on them that they're, they're just a ring around them, you know. And luckily, I was still able to see because it was out of my vision, you know. But. Uh, I've been fighting and fighting with them. Well, the scratches and the uh, getting the lint off of them to where I can see. It's just amazing what things you won't, you may not even notice. It can be on the glasses, you know. Like when I look at them like that with this magnifying glass, I get the sand out of my eyes. I do not, I guess it's mostly coming from the water. It's not that though, because. Like when I'm asleep at night, I always wake up three to six times a night and have to go to the bathroom. And uh, uh, it's really bad. So there's like dust in this house. I'm afraid I made it worse when I installed my server in the closet and I put it. Well, I put a vent in there, bought a special vent fan with louvers, and I used a dryer vent with a flappy door. Well, it wasn't powerful enough to open it, so I had to screw it open into the attic. Of course, you know, there's all kinds of dust up there. And uh, and then it ran two hours and started making noise and slowing down. And uh, I had to take it out, and I didn't. And I put a, I had a, happened to have a, like a six inch floor fan, and this is a four inch vent. And so I just hung it from zip ties and, and aimed it at it, and it does get the heat out, but like at night, uh, and like now it's cooling off, you know, it's getting 45, 55 at night, and I get, I'd forgotten what I did to keep warm, <laughs> I leave the server running. I'd be gotten, in the summer, I can't stand it running, it's too hot to have it running. Because it doesn't get all the heat out, you know. But, uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna leave them like that. So, finally, after three or four days of being chilly. I was getting used to that. I'm going off into story after story. But anyway, after three or four days of being chilly, I uh, remembered oh, I've been, I, what I do is I leave the server running. The server puts out 1500 watt, 1500 BTUs, I mean, of uh, heat. So <laughs> it could be a heater for this room, you know. Uh, but I, anyway, that makes me okay. I get a little chilly, but not cold. Um, 
but I'm, <sighs> that's what I want to be working on besides that. So anyway, the, uh, the night light, um, the night light, well, I opened it up to look at it and the wire broke. So now I got to fix it. That's my whole story there. I wasn't wanting to get off until that's not the whole story, but you don't want to hear that right now anyway. Okay. So that's it. Uh, Got my new glasses, got them adjusted, and I've got a feeling that they're still going to squeeze too much. And I'll have to do them some more. But I do have these turned out to where they're not, you know, that really bothers me. I have to just let turn them away from my head. It just hurts bad no, in no time. This may be still a little too narrow in the center here. But if I make them too wide, then they'll drop way down, and I'll be looking at the... You know what? I don't think these, like I said, I think these are noticeably smaller in diameter than my other ones. I wonder if, I imagine I could tell that quick enough. Let's see if it's me or if it's real. Uh, well, I guess I can do that here in front of the camera instead of the endoscope. We'll see. Yeah, I can just grab in those. I mean, they feel wider. Oh, yeah, I can put these other ones on over these. I can't see the difference, but I'm, I'm going to do it on the endoscope so I can tell. Get the light on. Raise it back up again. That is amazing. Oh, man, I thought there was something odd about those. Get up a little higher so you can see it. The nose, yeah, the nose is narrower. I don't guess you're getting, you're getting the full picture there. Look at that. Now, the new ones are on the inside. So these are kids' glasses, as far as I'm, <laughs> kid size glasses. That's why I, I, I was I kept thinking, if I move them a, a hair, you know, an eighth of an inch, it's going to have the frame right in front of my eyes. These may not work for me. We'll see. Yeah, these these are way heavier too. I should have. I had a. I had a thought about that, and then I forgot it. That I should go back and look at these, and if they hadn't gone up too much, just get some more of these, because those really have been good glasses. They, they did scratch, but uh, even the glass, the glasses ones resist scratching more. But I finally, I always hated the plastic. Uh, lens glasses but I finally changed my mind because uh, the glass they use I don't know I, I, these are the you know these magnifying glasses are only glasses I've ever worn so I can't judge with real glasses but uh, they uh, over the years I've had several well some of some of my favorite glasses I didn't quit wearing them because they scratched or earned too much or anything. It was because they, uh, so these are way smaller than the ones I've been wearing. It was, uh, I think they'll be okay right now anyway. We'll see. But uh, um, the glass, the actual glass glasses, um, they um, start cracking, you know, and it hit me. I, did I break a pair? I can't remember. I don't think I actually ever, like, knock. You know, I, I would wear. I would forget. I always try to remember where the safety glasses. I can't. I can't wear two pairs of glasses. So I, that's why I got the magnifying safety glasses. So, but for years, I would either. Well, I, my eyes were a little better, so I could get by working outside and everything. I just couldn't hardly read my tape measure and stuff. But uh, I'd wear, you know, um, but when you've already got a pair of glasses on and you're going to work and then doing stuff, you forget that, oh, those aren't safety glasses, you know. And I've had uh, had a few close calls where things would hit, you know, break and like a real drill bit break or whatever and come up and hit you right here, right here, right here. Uh, I think, I, I think... Well, I'm trying, I imagine something probably did hit the glasses. I, know, I just remember now, I don't remember any details. I just remember just realizing if that glass 
had shattered, it would have all went into my eye, you know, being that close to your eye, and it would have been horrible. And of course, that's what they always warn you about, but um, if it's already cracked, don't wear them. I mean, I've done it, and, and, and I, had, uh, I had them on cracked. I remember one time I had them on crack. I just vaguely remember, and I think something like just, I don't think it hit the glass. If it did, it didn't hit them hard, but uh, might, have, might have made the crack get a little longer or something. Anyway, it didn't shatter them. And then that, that hit me. That scared me because, uh, you know, when I was younger, I was, uh, I worked in a cabinet shop. I did maintenance work. When I was 18, I started getting trained. I got a job where I got trained to do maintenance on gas stations and car washes and digging, you know, putting in gas tanks and all kinds of stuff. So I've always done, that was hard work there. A lot of it was hard work and out in the heat and cold. But then I got uh, in, in the cabinet building and uh, of course you got to watch your main thing. You think, you know, one of the main things is don't cut your fingers off, you know, on all the saws, but your eyes are really, Stuff's always come up and hitting you somewhere, and it hits you. In, it'll always hit you in the face and in the eye. Um, and for years, I didn't wear safety glasses because they would steam up, and I couldn't see out of them. In the in the you know, well, most of the year really. Uh, and uh, and then when I went to work at uh, General Dynamics, where uh, during the F-16, F we were doing maintenance on the F-111 and building the F-16 uh, in the 80s. Um, you had to wear safety glasses, they made you. And I got comfortable, you know, I got, I realized, you know, once you get used to them, uh, and you're, you just don't feel right without them on, you know, so uh, they had they had well-made safety glasses in there, you know. Those big old black rim glasses like everybody, lots of people wear now because they think they're stylish now. They were not, they were dorky back in the 70s and the 80s. <coughs> but um, like the bar frames, I think were the, thing that if you had glasses that was the, the thing that a lot of people liked and I liked them I always honestly I always liked the Ben Franklin glasses I liked the ones that I thought if I ever had glasses that's the kind I want and that not whether they were in style or not that's just the ones I liked I think this is gonna squeeze my head finally you get tired of fooling with them and you just bend them <laughs> without all that special help. Oh, that was a little too much on the right side, but if I get them even, I think they'll be okay. Okay, so anyway, whenever I started realizing how easily these cheap, you know, spy, uh, spy glasses, these, these magnifying glasses are, how easily those lenses could shatter, I realized the plastic. It was advertising some of the, oh, plastic won't shatter, this is better. And they were saying how clear they were and they were giving the measurements of how clear they were. I think one time I went and looked up, you know, if that was a legit measurement and all that, and it, it, it was, if they were telling the truth about what they were. But I actually saw that the first time, I think, looking at plexiglass. There's some plexiglass you can buy that's clearer than glasses, you know, to look through, than, than regular real glasses. And uh, so anyway, that's when I realized, well, plastic can be made, because most of the, I was used to you know cheap uh, plastic safety glasses, and they, everything's a blur, you know. And uh, even when my eyes were good, my eyes used to be really good. I had twenty. Uh, what was it? I was I farsighted. I can't remember what the numbers were. Twenty forty or twenty sixty or whatever. Twenty fifty. Anyway, I could always see better far away, but I could see. Well, I would just hold things out a little for Usually at arm's length, you know. There we go. Usually at arm's length, I could see things perfectly. I didn't need glasses uh, for hardly anything. I mean, if it was generally small, you know, I'd need a magnifying glass, of course, like anybody else. But um, now I need huge, ma I need magnification to see just normal anything. So, um, yeah, I'm going to leave these like this, but I got a feeling I'm going to end up need another another set I uh, should have went back to Amazon and yeah so uh, if you've got a normal size or big head like me then you probably don't want these I'm already beginning to think that this was not I'm trying to get this under here I moved it all over the place a while ago 
It's upside down. Hey, they've spun around to... I can't get oriented. This, this thing drives me up the wall. And it's been moving and changing. There we go. Now that's at a 45 degree angle to me. Well, that's still not straight. Okay, about a 60 degree, 50, 60 degree. Whoops, no, now we're up at like a 70 degree angle. Now it's straight to you, to the computer. Yeah, that's what these are. Distributed by Walmart, Bentonville, Arkansas, made in China, of course. Ready to wear non-prescription glasses. Not intended to replace prescription lenses. Yeah, we knew that. Satisfaction guaranteed. But yeah, I don't remember seeing ever seeing uh, glasses that were equate readers. Maybe they've been out a long time. Like I said, I've been getting mine at Amazon. Anyway, just where I found them, what I was looking for, you know. But, so, uh, yeah, I didn't think about that. I mean, I, you wouldn't really be able to tell. I mean, gosh, these fit inside of my other pair and leave darn near a quarter inch on both sides. That's how much smaller they are. Now, those other ones, I, I will say one thing, they were big, and I, they were good for wearing and using, but I didn't like, they look goofy on your head. I mean, you look. They're, they look too big. But now I realize I don't want them too small either. After getting these, I used to have, I used to always like to get those round wire frame. I don't think I have any of those anymore, but sunglasses. Yeah, this is the last pair I've got. These are just more like flyer glasses, kind of like a miniature, miniature version of flyer glasses, you know. But, uh, these are kind of like blind people glasses. They're so dark. But the, that's what I need for the sun, though, actually. Uh, is something pretty pretty dark. So uh, now I don't know which pair is which, but I don't guess it matters. Unless I end up having to go back and wear them again. Actually, I have... Well, the one pair... One of these pairs, I, they're still adjusted good, you know, to fit my face and everything. I don't think that's the right ones. Oh, that feels better. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one of these pairs is good and one's not. Oh, I think this is the ones I've been wearing. Yeah. They feel just right. And they're not squeezing my face. And they're not, they were falling off, but I, I adjusted them to where they wouldn't fall off. These are better, these are better made. These are China glasses, but they're better made. Yeah, these are a little, something's off with those. They need some work. But, uh, yeah, and if you're a kind of person who uh, bends your glasses all the time, then you probably wouldn't want these anyway. You'll get you'll you'll go nuts trying fighting with them, you know, trying to keep them straight. But I I usually only wear them at the computer. These these, and uh, I mean I will go in the other room with them, but usually I don't. When I leave the room, I take them off, lay them right there, you know, and. Uh, so I do, and I don't feel like coming back in here to get them. I just say I don't have my glasses. <laughs> what does it say? <laughs> and uh, but that keeps them from getting bent because if you, you you can't put them in your pocket, never put them in your pocket. I don't care what kind of pocket you got, unless you got them in a case like that. But shoot, I've done that before, and then the case opens up, and then they come out and get scrunched, get the lid shut on them, you know. Well, I can see better with these, because they're better mag. That's what I'm needing now to see. Uh, everything has been fuzzy, and I kept. And it didn't dawn on me for a long time. Well, get you can. Well, one day I put on the, whatever I did with them, the uh, safety glasses. They're they're like I said, they're full magnifiers. It took a while to find them. There's not a lot of people that make them. They'll make those bifocal safety glasses, and they're horrible. You move your head, and you, my head spins I'm about straight. And then if I walk, I'm about ready to I'll throw up, run into the wall. You know, can't stand those. And I had I, that was the first kind I got like that because I could saw I'd find. That was those Dewalt brand ones, and that, and I never got to wear them. The first day I had them, I was trying to adjust them, get them ready to wear. And the 
the whole thing broke off right there. They're plastic, you know. But they said, it's flexible, you can bend it, don't worry, guaranteed. Of course, I didn't. I didn't, I just kept them. And you can still set them on your head. Like, I just leave them out in the garage all the time in, in a box. And if I need something real bad, I'll put them, I'll grab them. If I don't want to come in here to get these or something. And they have the little bit of mag, the bifocal, you know, is magnified in a little part down at the bottom. Yeah, those other ones are way more comfortable than these. I still haven't got them. Well, now they're cattywankus again. These may be, they are pretty easy to bend too, but a little more easy than that other pair, ones I'm replacing these with. They may not want to stay. It's weird because they just feel a tiny bit tight and I don't want to over spread them so that they'd fallen off my face. Well, that made that too loose. All right, that's better. Let's see if they're crooked now. Yep, a little bit. Dang it. It's only, it seems like the, uh, right one is the one that wants to bend no matter you know i'm doing like that to try to get them so when you lay them down they're they're not rocking you know okay i think that's yeah these are these are a lot lot thinner they're lighter which is good uh, those other ones were pretty heavy but you know once i got them on they didn't bother me though once i got them on and was doing and i had them adjusted well for me <sighs> so I'm not sure what to do with that. I'm moving that lot around trying to get it where it doesn't drive me crazy. Well, now I have to take a little break. I can't believe I spent how long? Hour and 17 minutes. I thought I'd fix those up in 10, 15 minutes, you know, fix these up in 10 or 15 minutes. So there you go. If you're wondering, if you're wondering about how, whether you want some wireframe glasses or not, if you haven't ever had any, well, there you go. That's what you're going to deal with. <laughs> you, there are very lot of differences in how they're made, <clears throat> and they are finicky to get adjusted. But you cannot adjust most of these plastic glasses. You will just break them. I mean, if you want to heat them up and all that crap, you might get them adjusted. But a hair dryer won't really do it on most of them. I used the hair dryer on those. And under, and they'll just they'll get where you think you're all right and then when they cool down they just go back maybe it really does you know they say materials these days they've figured out how to make material with a memory you know they want to go back to where they were metal plastic all kinds of stuff <clears throat> maybe that's what that is <clears throat> but uh and if you don't watch it you know if you overheat them of course then they'll and then they, then they won't go back forever <laughs> they're ruined you know so anyway uh, there's my wireframe, my new wireframe glasses. I thought I was happy with them until I started working on them. 